Hi, I'm going to try and show you how to how to make on the run sequence from Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album. I'm going to be using the Dave Smith Instruments Mono Evolver Desktop module to do it, but this will work for any synthesizer, any sequencer, anything that can be sequenced with eight notes. Now the eight notes are semi quavers, and the beats per minute is 166. So the pattern really goes for a whole bar, and there's 16 notes but we're going to be using eight notes to get just to get it to loop around for those eight notes so just something to think about if you wanted to use some some other way of sequencing it i'm going to be using the first eight notes of the evolver uh, sequencer and it's just going to keep looping around i'm also going to introduce the noise generator to make a type of hi-hat sound and then i'm going to use the um LFOs to control the filter and just to try out some different things. So if, you, if you're new to the Evolver and you're not sure how to use it or you want to see some tips, this might help you using the Evolver, but what I'm doing can be used on any synthesizer. The settings, it's pretty basic. We're not going to be getting into any modulating the oscillators or any of the, of the uh, controllers. We're just going to be making a simple square wave and sequencing in eight notes and doing some filter modulation and and using the uh, envelope on the filter as well so to start with we need to get our sound and I've plugged in the keyboard into the evolver so we can get a square wave out of oscillator one to set that up press row one on the uh, evolver or set a square wave on your synthesizer um, to get that on the Evolver you need to control oscillator 1 so we, we, we press the button for row 1 and it's the shape slash PW which stands for pulse width and it'll be a setting of uh, 50 because this setting goes from 1 to 100 and the 50 means that it's the balance between the, how much the square wave is on and how much it's off so 50 means it's on for the same amount of time as it's off and that equals a square wave and you can hear what it's going to sound like that's the sound we need to make this sequence next we need to enter in the notes now the notes are E, G, A, G, D, C, D, E I'll put them up on the screen so if you're not if you didn't quite catch that but we'll uh, step that in using the keyboard and you can do that easily on the Evolver by holding the sequence button down until it flashes, the uh, sequence of light flashes. That means we're ready to enter in the notes. Now that the E, G, A, G part is directly below middle C, the D, C, D, E part is in the same octave as middle C. You'll see the Evolver will step through. What we need to do though is tell the, the Evolver sequencer that we don't want to go past eight notes. If we go to the second half of the sequence, we'll be able to set, that's all the notes eight to 16. The first row is notes one to eight, in this, or sequence points one to eight. The second row is nine to 16. So we'll set point nine, or sequence trigger nine, to reset. So just turn the dial until it gets to Got to press the sequencer button first. We want it. Keep dialing that in until it says RST for reset. And if we play that back, we should hear. I just changed the octave down one by pressing the keyboard so it'll play that sequence the next thing to do would be to get the the noise generator to make a sort of a backing hi-hat rhythm now there's lots of ways you can do that we can just have the something triggering the noise generator per sequence trigger you can do that with an lfo you could do that with the third envelope generator so I'll, I'll first of all i'll show you how to do that with the lfo we use lfo2 the destination now that has to be the noise generator, so rotate your controller, that's uh, dial number 8, until it says NOL, 
for noise level. Then go to the amount, say 25, and have a listen. A bit more amount. So we can try out different sync settings. set it to eight for the eight steps so we've got our, our hi-hat sound and it's changing in level over the eight notes we could also uh, use the envelope to trigger that sound which would probably sound more percussive and but I'm just going to leave it as that for now now I'm going to show you how to use the LFO 1 to control the filter with the LFO so that we can do something else with another keyboard or do some sound effects. So go to LFO 1 which is row 6 and set the destination to filter. It's FIL there. The amount uh, start off with a reasonable amount say 44. The LFO will, will start off what the filter is set to and then increase the filter but because the filter's all the way open at the moment, it's not going to do anything. But if I if I close the filter, we'll hear it opening and closing, and I'm also going to give it a bit of resonance as it's playing. Also play around with the depth of the envelope which is on the Evolver it's envelope AMT for envelope amount you can get some pretty close sounds with most uh, square wave synthesizers with a bit of filter and I'm using the four pole filter we can introduce different sustain release and attack decay levels and but basically we'll just control the shape playing around with the release will give you the will really give you the bubbly sort of sound that happens and you can also uh, have your LFO controlling the, the filter and you can then manually play with the filter settings as well so you get a, a lot more variety that way but basically that's that's um, that's how to how to get a nice sequence going in the in the Evolver or get that Pink Floyd progression going in any sequence you like <laughs> Why? Why? Why?